Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to this course on R. In this video, we're going to be looking at some basic maths functions because R is like a super calculator. And yes, there are thousands of advanced functions that do quite a lot of the heavy lifting. But what I want to focus on in this video is just some of the more basic mathematical functions so that you can get comfortable with R. So we're going to see that with addition, you simply type in 2 plus 2. With subtraction, you just have something like 3 minus 1. Multiplication, you know, 3 times 3. Division, it's just 21 divided by 3. Exponential, you go 5 star star 2. And you can also do 5 hat 2 with the later versions of R. And if you want to take the log, it's as simple as doing log 1. So this was just a quick run through of the functions. We're now going to go to R and see how easy it is to just type them in and how it will show you the answers straight away. Let's now do these basic maths functions in R. So for addition, let's say we have 2 plus 2. We hit enter and we should get 4. Fantastic. Subtraction, 3 minus 1, we should get 2. Uh, let's look at some multiplication. 3 star 3, that should give us 9. And if we want to have some division, 21 divided by 3 should give us 7. Now for the exponential, we can go 5 hat 2 to get 25. Or we can go 5 star star 2, and that will also give us 25. If we want to take the natural logs, we just type in log, and then we know that the natural log of 1 is equal to 0. So let's see what we get. Fantastic. R has more basic functions built into it. For instance, if you want to take the square root, you just type in squirt and then the number. If you want to do the factorial, you just type in factorial and then the number you want to take the factorial of. Uh, for absolute, it's abs. And then there's also all the trigonometry functions as well, such as sine, cos, tan. Um, basically, R can do anything your calculator can do, plus so much more. But let's see these functions played out in R. Let's look at some more basic maths. So if I want to do the square root, I will type in squirt 4, and we should get 2. Fantastic. If I want to take the factorial, so let's take the factorial of 3, and this should give us 6. Fantastic. If I want to take the absolute of a number, so we type in abs minus 3, should give us 3. And what we can also do is a whole bunch of trigonometry. So if we want to go sine 15, if we want to go cos 15, if we want to go tan 15, we can see that we have all these functions as well. So as I said, R can do everything that your calculator can do, plus a lot more. So keep watching these videos and explore more things that you can do with this powerful software.